So thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed it, if felt it was useful. Now let's get into this. So a bit of breaking news here, and it's the news has caught me kind of off guard. So much so that I don't even have my stand or anything with me, so it's going to have to be an audio version. So Eddie Hearn was on Sky Sports News here, and he says that talks between... Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua making great progress. It's fair to say Fury and AJ are both in agreement regarding financial terms. We're in a good place in principle. Both guys have agreed to the fight. Two fights were moving in the right direction. Eddie Hearn also went on to say that the main news is positive that Joshua and Fury have agreed to have agreed a deal, a two-fight deal in essence. If they've not signed the contract, they're still thinking to be worked out. The structure of the deal has been put forward and it's been agreed by both parties. Tyson Fury's gone on to say that basically, yep, you know, he's reacted that the financial terms anyway have been agreed. It says here Tyson Fury's AJ is not 100% on as of yet. as what Eddie Hearns also says. Far from, but still a bit to overcome with regards Deontay Wilder, Cooper Pulev, broadcasters, dates, venue, etc, etc, etc. However, agreeing financial terms is obviously a massive step Positive news, of course, all that. So, two-fight deal, AJ versus Tyson Fury. Oh, boy. That is... That's the fight we all want. It's multi-million pound fight, it's fair to say. Heavyweight, you know, undisputed. If both guys still have their titles, come what then? Um, and what I mean by that, well, Tyson Fury, you would imagine he'd be okay with AJ... It could be a case of that the IBF decide to strip him or something like that. Maybe, potentially. But when you're dealing with a fight of this magnitude and money being thrown around, such as such is the case with these guys, you would imagine that the governing bodies, they'll turn the other cheek by way of mandatories. You would have to imagine anyway, because there's that much money on the line for the sanctioned bodies as well, that, you know, at the end of the day, everyone has a price, as they say. So... Looks like we could be getting AJ Fury sooner rather than later. Um, I think that they need to strike while the iron's hot. I think heavyweight boxing, as we've seen, is unpredictable. And God only knows what might happen if the two guys go ahead with their perceived fights against Pulev and Wilder. I know most people would say that both fights are easy wins for the two of them. Well, a lot of people thought Ruiz would be an easy fight for Anthony Joshua. Because let's not forget. Lest we forget. In the space of three weeks, I think it was Wilder first... Wilder fought Brazil, AJ fought Ruiz, and then Fury fought Schwartz. And they were all seen as relatively straightforward fights for three guys. Two of them came out unscathed. They were straightforward. One guy came out with an L. So heavyweight boxing, notoriously unpredictable. Strike while the iron's hot. And with the way things are going with the world, the economy, all that, I don't need to go into that. We all know. Get it done now. You know, get it done now. Obviously, Anthony Joshua, there's been a lot said about some of the recent comments he's had to make. I'm keeping that strictly off YouTube. That is not something to talk about on YouTube. If I was ever to do a Patreon or something like that, maybe we talk about it there. Because I've seen a few people comment uh, on some videos and ask my opinion. Um, not going to happen in this video. But my opinion now was just on this fight. I want to get this fight made. I hope it gets made. I really, I think it's a great fight. I think that it's a tricky fight to call. If I had to pick, I would lean with Tyson Fury. I would imagine he'll be a big betting favourite, given the nature of his win against Deontay Wilder and given the fact that AJ is still still trying to build... His, his name's already built, but still trying to recover from that Ruiz loss. So, it'd be definitely an interesting fight. Let me know. Let me know. Some news, some good boxing news. Let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, of course, if you are new. And as always... I will talk. So before I go, I just want to say thank you for dropping by the channel. I really do appreciate it. I mean, all the support, all the things that have happened on this channel over the last year have been incredible. If you're new to the channel, as you'll see on screen there, there's a couple of like older videos that I have. Some of them aren't really relevant now, to be fair, but some of them are, like my Fighters with a Problem series, stuff like that. If you like any of this, please subscribe. Like the video you just watched, share it, do it all you got to do. Let's try and keep this channel going because... I love doing this, and I love interacting with the fans, and I love hoping, hopefully, the fans love watching my videos. So, thank you for dropping by. I've been G-Man. I will talk to you.